Hello, Crafty Friends, America, Scrafty with 29. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on with a demo. I was contacted by Momenta to test out a new die cut machine. I am so super excited to unbox this with you and share with you my thoughts. Uh, this is a freestyle die cutting and embossing machine. Um, it's double steel construction. It has an easy turn handle and you can use thin and thick metal dies, so that's awesome. And it says that you can cut multiple layers in one pass and it's compact design for easy storage. So um, easy to store, doesn't take up a lot of space and it only weighs seven pounds, so that is awesome. And um, it says it's six inches wide. So it contains the machine, a base plate, cutting plate, embossing plate, and an instruction manual. So let's open it up and see how this bad boy works. All right, so I am so excited to put this together. So when you open it up, you have the instruction manual that comes with it, which is awesome. So it looks like that. And then you have your handle and a little screw, which I'm going to go ahead and just take out of the package. So you have this piece right here, and then you have this, these two pieces right here. You get a screw, and then this little piece that covers up the screw. Simple, should be fairly simple to put together. If you see the little hole right there, that's where you're in, gonna insert your screw and then you have the lid to cover up the handle. And I will do it on camera so that you guys can see. Now, this is so exciting. Now, Momenta has a website and I will link it down below. I believe it's momenta.com. And they are selling these right now on their website and they are retailing for $69.99. And Hobby Lobby is also going to be carrying them as well and they have a early release date in October. So if you like this machine, you're gonna be able to pick it up at Hobby Lobby. So that is awesome. And I love the shape of this. It's like so sleek. How awesome, I love it already. I just picked it out. Okay, so this is the actual die cut machine. And then here are the die cutting plates. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up so that we can see what it looks like. And I'm sorry for all the crinkling. Okay, so this right here is the embossing plate and it says it right there on the packaging. And then you have a cutting plate, which looks like this. It looks like you get one cutting plate and then you have a base plate, all right? So those are the three plates that came with the machine. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and insert the handle. So I'm just going to stick this on like so. Should be very simple, I hope. Let's see if I can get it on. Let's see. Looks like you have to push it in. And then I'm going to open up my little package with the screw and the cover. Now, let's see if it came with a tool for the screw because we're going to need to screw that in. So let me just double check and make sure that there is not a tool that came with this to screw it in. Let's see. Okay, I don't see a screwdriver in here. Let me just read the directions really quickly and make sure. So these are the assembly directions. Tells you what's in the box. Place the handle piece into the spindle and insert the screw. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to secure, to secure the handle, insert plug to cover screw. So, aha, you do need a screwdriver. So I'm gonna pause this video, I'm gonna go grab a screwdriver and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found a screwdriver. It took me a minute. You would think that we would have screwdrivers laying all over the place and I had to find one in my son's room. It's just ridiculous. My husband is a builder and you'd think we wouldn't have screwdrivers just everywhere, 
but apparently we don't. All right, so I think this is screwed in pretty tight. It feels like it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open it up like so, and I'm going to lay my base plate inside the machine like this. And I do wanna show you, they did send me some dies to play with, so let me just show you what they sent. They sent these um, word dies and it says, hello, thanks, XOXO, congrats, hi, love you, and wish, and celebrate, and they are a really nice size. So I love that. So they sent this one. They sent this really pretty die right here. I cannot wait to die cut this one out and it says love and it has all these pretty flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? And then they sent this beautiful butterfly embossing plate and it, you can create a card. It has the mat, it could be confetti. Super cute, who doesn't love butterflies? And then they sent this really pretty um, border strip and it says it fits an A2 size card and you get three different designs um, in this one. And those are the designs right there. And then they also sent a cut and emboss set, which is really awesome. And this is fall leaves, acorns, and pine cones. And then it comes with an embossing folder. So after you cut them out, you can run it through the embossing folder and give your leaves some dimensional texture for a project. So let's play with this and let's go. All right, so now that I have my handle secure, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your base plate on and then you're going to use your cutting dies. And the directions read cutting dies on the base plate, sharp side up. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the word dies so we can test them out. And I will just take off a couple. I'll take off the word thanks and celebrate. And I did bring some paper down. So the instructions say face side up. Then you lay your paper down. I'm just going to lay it like so on top and then I'm going to take my cutting plate right here and put it on top of the sandwich and we're gonna crank it through and see how it works oops all right and it looks like it's gone through and I'm just gonna take my paper out so you can see that it works. And there is the word thanks. And let me just get the word celebrate out. And I did not bring my pokey tool down with me, but let me just kind of poke it out with my finger. I just wanna show you that it actually did cut out everything. So there is the word celebrate. Isn't that pretty out of glitter? And then here is the word thanks. And again, I don't have my little pokey tool down here, but it did die cut very nicely. So there's the word thanks and celebrate. And these little pieces do pop out as you can see on the back. And I'm just gonna show you really quick that um, these will pop out with your little pokey tool. So just make sure you have that on hand. But it ran through very nicely. So we know that it works. I really do like the feel of it. And I think because I'm on this mat, it's sliding around a little bit. But let's look at the bottom. The bottom actually does have these little pieces right here, which you can, it's like a little rubber mat. And I'm just gonna take these off. That way it won't slide around. And I think that uh, you'll be able to have more control of the die cut machine. And I am doing this demo on this little mat, so it's probably not the best surface. Probably a harder surface is going to work best. So what I'd like to do now is let's test out the die cut um, and emboss set. Um, just as a demo, since they sent it, let's check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. 
and I'm just going to position the dies onto the base plate. And these two actually come separate. So that's nice. You could actually just die cut out the leaf or you can die cut out the leaf and this part right here, which will also emboss now, if you just want to do the leaf, then you can go back in and run it through your, your embossing folder to give it texture. But we'll go ahead and try it um, this way. So we're going to leave it face side up. And we will, I'm going to take off a couple more for you guys so you can see what it looks like. There's that. And then we have the leaf. Again, this is two pieces right here and we'll go ahead and do the acorn which is also uh, two dies and it's stuck to the tape I just want to show you this one is so cute let me just get in a little closer so you can see how pretty it is it has like tiny little hearts on the acorn super cute for fall projects all right so I'm just gonna lay that flat right there and I'll zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing all right, so I have some cardstock and I just picked out some random cardstock, but I'm just going to stick it on top. And I'm going to go ahead and stick my cutting plate on the top. And we're going to just run it through the die cut machine. And again, it is moving around a lot. I think I'm gonna to have to take the mat off and uh, so it won't slide around. I think I'll just slide this off just for the demo. Sorry about that, you guys. But as you can see, the uh, pieces have die. They have cut out of the paper. So here is the pine cone. Look how pretty that is. Very nice clean cut and as you can see there that embossing piece does a really really nice job of embossing it. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's that one and then you have the gorgeous fall leaf. Let me just take the little papers out. Sorry about that you guys. So this one looks like this. How pretty is that? I love the detail on that. And then the little tiny acorn. This is absolutely adorable. Look at how cute with the little tiny hearts. How adorable is that? Love that. And then the last leaf is, let me just pop it out of the paper. Looks like this. And again, you see all the embossed detail on it. So as you can see, this die cut machine cuts very nicely in this die cut and emboss set is amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take a couple, I'll just do these two pieces right here so that you can see, and we'll go ahead and just run it through with um, just plain cardstock, and then we'll use the embossing folder so that we can test out the embossing folder. So we're just gonna place the cardstock on top, put our place our cutting mat, and then we're just going to slide it through. I'm sorry, make sure I'm focused for you guys. Oh yeah, it's a much better uh, cut on a flat um, surface, no problem. Just take it out and they just fall out like so. So as you can see, you get a really nice cut and it actually is pretty dimensional when you cut it out. I really like the, the thickness that it looks. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna test out the embossing folder and emboss these two pieces. Let's see how that works. So I'm gonna sandwich the, uh, I'm gonna put these two in the embossing folder and stick it down right here. And then it did come with a embossing plate and it has this little green, um, paper that you just probably want to peel off because you don't need it. It's probably like a protection when you first get it. And then you stick it on top like so. 
and you run it through. And I'm just gonna run it back, front and back. Make sure we get the nice emboss and take it out so you can see what it looks like. And I'm sorry, it's so hard with these nails. And I think maybe you only need one pass because I accidentally tore it, as you can see. But look at the embossing on it. You can see all of the detail that's in there. All right, so let's try that again. I think you only need to run it through one time and not twice because that tore the leaf. So I'm going to try it again one more time. Let's do it again. That was probably user error. <laughs> so I'm just going to, if I can pick it up, I cannot pick up anything with these nails for some reason. All right, so we're gonna stick this back down, put the paper on top, and I have my cutting mat right here and stick this on top like so. And I'm just gonna run it through. And one pass is, is perfectly fine. It cuts it just, you know, no problem. So here is my image. And oh no, I already have sticky stuff from the um, die. But look at that, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna run it through one more time with the embossing folder. And I got some of the sticky stuff from the actual die cut paper on my mat, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm going to, where did I put the embossing folder? Oh my goodness. Here it is. All right, so put the, leaf down on the embossing folder. We're just gonna put it down like so. Take the embossing plate, stick it in your machine. Run it through one pass. And take it out. And voila, here you have a beautiful die cut leaf. And this time I didn't tear the paper, but look at how um, thick and dimensional that is using that embossing folder. I love using embossing folders um, on projects. So, so far I am loving it. I am super excited. Um, I want to go ahead and cut out one more die while I'm on with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and die cut out the butterfly plate. Let's check that out. I'm going to use some of the, well actually I have another piece of paper down here. I just have to take it off, the sticky stuff. And I will use this piece of paper right here. And we'll try it again. Remember it says sharp side up. You wanna stick your paper face down. And then you want your cutting mat and my cutting mat is right here. I'm losing everything, you guys. I'm just gonna stick this on and run it through. And with one pass, it does cut everything. I just want to show you. And look at all of these butterflies. How pretty, look at that. So you get all these cute butterflies um, that come out of this little plate. So you can see all those butterflies. Let me just move this out of the way so that you guys can see. And I'll just kind of zoom in. So that's what that looks like. And then I'll bring, this is the other piece that I die cut out where everything fell out of. How pretty is that? Then you could go back in with your glitter card stock and then stick a sentiment on there. How pretty would that be? So gorgeous, right? I love it. And that was with one pass through the die cut machine. It's very easy to um, run through the way that it turns. It's simple, you guys. I really love it. And I really love the fact that it's so compact and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So if you're working with a small crafting space, 
um, I would highly recommend this die cut machine. And like I said, you can go to Momenta um, website and I think they are selling it right now. And if you want to wait till Hobby Lobby is carrying it, they should have it early October. That's what they told me. So I hope that this demo was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. So um, thanks for watching today's video and I will check you guys out in my next one. Bye for now.